Hello YouTube, I'm Tom of 615 and welcome back to MLB 2K12, my player. We're playing as the pitcher this time, and um, I realized if you see in the bottom left, I'm zooming in on it, uh, we need to make five starts, and we have three, so we need two more. We also need two more wins, and if everything goes as planned, we could go up to the majors, and after two games, two pitch, two outings. So I can't wait. We are on a roll. Oh, and we lost. Like, if you think I have no emotion in my voice, it's because my sisters are getting very mad at me because I'm I, when I was talking like a normal person, they could hear me. So I am going to be a golf commentator for for this game. The catcher gets the signal. Catcher winds up. Is the pitch on the outside corner? That is a strike. He passed his goal to get a perfect pitch strike. Catcher is signaling. There's the windup and the pitch. Two seamer to the ground. Shortstop picks it up, throws it over the first, and there is one out. First pitch is a curveball up in the zone. That is the ball one. Putting together a decent season as the two batter force team. Next pitch is a two seamer inside. 2 0 on the batter. There's the wide up and the pitch. Strike one on the inside corner. Strike on the inside corner. Here's the payoff pitch. Swing and miss, and he has struck out the batter. Gustavo Maldonado is up to the plate for the Mets. He has a great name, so he must have he must be a very good player. First pitch, he swings and misses. Oh, that's well. Here's the L1. Two seamer, and it's in there for a called strike. What's the pitcher going to do here on O2? Let's hope he goes to the curveball. And there's the curveball. And Maldonado fouls it off. Here's the O2 pitch. Ball one. It's a very bad movement on that fastball from the pitcher. Here's the one, two. Strike three. A one, two, three inning for the Redding Phillies. And we are back in the bottom of the second. No score against the Philly. Phillies Mets. They have not scored. The pitcher put a 13 pitch first, and the first pitch is slapped into left. That is going to be a base hit. Chris Snyder is now up to the plate. Checks the runner first. Nothing going on there. And that is a ground ball up the middle. There's one. Throws the first. He is in time. That is a double play. Gerald Laird is up to the plate. He is batting 295 this season, so he has put together a very what very good season. First pitch is a two seamer, just missing on the outside corner. Now his control has not been very well, but it is only the second inning. And there's a line shot to the center fielder, and he has caught it. That is the end of the inning. No runs, one hit. We are in the bottom of the third, still no score between the Mets and the Phillies. Each team has one hit. We've got the Mets now have two as the first pitch is driven into center field for a base hit. Juan Rodriguez is now to that. Checking that runner at first, and that is a high fly ball to center field. He comes up with it. One down here in the third inning. Late, the opposing pitcher is now up to the bat. Maybe we have a chance to. Oh, and he's bunting. And he comes up with it. Pitcher comes up with it. And so now there is a runner in scoring position with two outs. Juan Perez is it. 
the lead off for the Mets. He grounded out his last at bat. And he pops him up. Shallow left center. The left fielder comes up with it, and that is the end of the inning. No runs, one hit, one man left. Still no score. Two hits for both sides. Here on this beautiful sunny day in Reading, Philadelphia. In Reading, Pennsylvania, my bad. Here's the 01. That's a shot to the second baseman. He comes up with it. Throws the runner out at yeah, first base. There it's one. Up, oh, Gustavo Maldonado. He is actually putting together a horrible season correction. Before I said he had a decent season, but he struck out looking at his last at bat. He's hitting 151 on the year. And now that is about to drop as the shortstop throws him out on the round. Here's the windup and the pitch. Just misses on the outside corner. Great movement on that two seam balls. Unable to get it into the zone. Here's the one up. That has fell off to the right side. The pitcher is going crazy. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Fastball straight up the middle. That is a base hit. Almost. Watch out, pitcher. Three hits on the day for the Mets. Two hits for Leach. And that has popped up to the center fielder. And that is the end of the inning. So, no runs on one hit, and one man left. We go to the fifth. Bottom of the fifth. Three hits for both sides. There's the first pitch. Fastball just misses once again on the outside corner. He goes high this time, and it is a deep fly ball to left field, and he comes up with it. Up the plate, and he smacks one to the left fielder, diving catch by the left fielder. That is a Sports Center top 10 nominee right there. Ground ball to the shortstop, throws him out. That is the end of the inning. One, two, three. We go to the sixth. The opposing pitcher is here to start off the inning. Still no score, as no one seems to jump on each other yet. As the first pitch is a two-seamer, great movement, catches the outside corner of the plate, and is called for a strike. And that one is hit to the shortstop once again. Plenty of time, throws him out. And there's one out. Better Bobby Perez is up to the plate, putting together a half-decent season. Not as good as the coaches would like, 206 as he fouls off with first pitch. But has played stellar defense this entire season. Maybe he could get a call up to the majors as he fouls that next one off. Now he has to work behind on 02. Here's the pitch, and he fouls it off. Here's the 0-2. Curveball right down the plate. That is headed towards the left center. Easy play for the left fielder. And that is two outs in the sixth inning. Gordon Roberts is up to the plate. He has struck out his last at bat. Here's the first pitch. A beautiful 83 mile an hour two seamer on the low half, lower half of the plate. Gets him swinging. It is 0-1. Here's the 0-1. Diving third base when shortstop is able to pick it up and throw him out. Another one, two, three inning for the Redding Phils. We go to the seventh. Gustavo Maldonado leads off the bottom of the seventh as the Redding Phils lead one to nothing as there was a home run in the bottom of the seventh. And he barely catches the bottom. I did not like that pitch. But the umpire saw it different, and he called it, and we, he is down 0-1. Pitch Maldonado swings and hits it to the shortstop, and he is thrown out. Man, the shortstop has gotten a very large amount of ground balls today. 
because this pitcher has been mixing up his pitch types very well and getting several, several ground ball outs. Here's the first pitch. That is a ground ball to the third baseman. He bobbles it and he comes up with it and he is safe. Reaches on an error. Chris Schneider is now up to the plate pitch strike. So now he gets the strike on an 81 mile an hour two seamer. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Right down the plate, it is 1-2. and two. What will he go with here on 1-2? And he hits it to the left side. Left fielder comes up with it, and there are two outs. And he sends this one on the first pitch. Routine play for the center fielder. And that is the end of the inning. No runs on no hits. One error and one man left. So the starting pitcher who is hitting 167 is 0 for 2 today. Starts off the 8th inning. First pitch is a shot up the middle. That is a base hit. That being the pitcher. Being the slowest person on the team. As they throw him out at second base. And get to the bottom of the eighth. And the first pitch is taken for a base hit up the middle. Very easily. First pitch, a beautiful two-seamer that the batter just whiffs on. There's the 0-1. Up the middle, should be 2 to the shortstop. 6-4-3 double play. Now another great solid outing for the pitcher. 55 pitches through 8. He's coming off a complete game shutout. And he honestly has the chance to do it again today. Can't seem to retire this batter. And he swings and misses as the catcher disappears out of oblivion. One hit, we go to the ninth. Top of the ninth, he is hitting, the pitcher is hitting. It is 4 nothing in the top of the ninth. Talk about getting insurance runs. And he rips one to the shortstop. And that's the end of the top of the ninth. We go to the bottom of the ninth. His first pitch swings and misses on a fastball right down the heart of the plate. I don't see how any professional player would not be able to take that one out of the ballpark. But I guess he was fooled by it. As there is strike two. Here is the 0-2 pitch. Low. It is 1-2 on the batter. Lined up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. He has got him. Here's the wind up and the pitch. Strike one. Now he has really mixed up his pitches but he has not used the curveball that often. Here's the one one. Another strike. Can't seem to touch his two-seamer today as there has been several ground outs today. Here's the one-two. Ball. Here we go, the two-two to the batter. Swing and a miss. He has struck out another batter. A perfect two-seamer. And he rips it down the left field line. Finally, they get to this pitcher as they line up to go to third as he is in with a stand-up double here in the bottom of the ninth. Leach is now up to the plate. First pitch is straight down the middle. That is strike one. Catcher gets the signal. Here's the pitch. A curveball in for strike two. I haven't seen that curveball often, but it is very effective. Next pitch. It is hit to the left fielder, and that is the game. He completes the game with a shutout. He gets the win, and the Reading Phillies win the game 4 to nothing.
I am Tom Bomb 615 I threw one more pitch than I did the previous game, and I will see you guys later.